What's going on guys? My name is Noah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a video regarding testosterone replacement therapy. If you'd like to know why I'm on TRT, please feel free to milk the cow or read the description below. Today I just want to do a quick update video of sorts. Something happened that has happened to me in the past that seems worth mentioning because it is a thing that can happen when on TRT. I'm out. I'm completely out of my testosterone sipionate and I've been out for over a week and they're not going to be able to refill me based on when I first filled this last prescription uh, until I think the 16th. So they're not going to be able to refill me for a few more days. So that means that I will be going without any testosterone for like 10, 11 days, which is not a big deal. And I don't want to act like it is a big deal, but I sort of want to explain why this happens to me sometimes in case it happens to you and then let you know what has happened to me in the past when I have ended up running out low. Now, I think there's a chance, at least a chance that some of you are thinking, well, if you ran out early of your testosterone, then you probably were taking extra. And that is not the case in this particular situation. Obviously, if you take extra, you will run out early, but I don't take extra. I never will take extra. I'm very, very loyal to the regimen I'm on. I currently take 120 milligrams per week. That is 0.6 mLs. I get this 10 mL bottle. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real quick. So this is my 10 ml bottle of testosterone sipionate. I inject it every single week, 0.6 mLs per week, and usually the outer left quadrant of my thigh. I found 120 milligrams a week to be fantastic for me based on my blood work, my side effect profile, and my symptom relief. My estrogen is in check, this is good. That's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to state that. The reason I run out early occasionally is because of, of a couple things. One, uh, these vials always tend to leave a little bit at, at the bottom. They just do. And it's a thing. It's like I, I kind of almost want to talk to my doc about possibly prescribing me a little extra so that I don't run into this problem. But it is a thing. When you inject testosterone, you pull it into your vial, and there's always this little bit that gets left over each injection. Every single injection, after I've plunged it into my quad, you just see this little teeny bit that's left outside of the measurable part, the measurable part of the, the syringe. And that is the, the, the little bits that get wasted, I guess you could say, every single week. And over the course of three and a half months, which I think is how often I refill, it usually ends up being a dose or so that goes. The other thing that can happen, and this has only happened to me twice in the last five years, but sometimes you straight up just lose some. Like I've had a, a needle just blow, blow off the top and squirt everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. And, and then you end up losing quite a bit that way. Another thing to consider is that the, the last bits in here, I mean, the very, the very end of what's inside these bottles are so hard to draw out. I mean, they're incredibly difficult to not waste at least some. And I, I know for a fact that's what's going on also because I can see it in there. So those are some of the reasons that I end up wasting testosterone over the course of three, three and a half months to the point where I might be out for a week or two before getting my next prescription refilled. I don't know how it is for you guys, but they're super strict about for filling early here. If I seem jittery, it's because I haven't had breakfast, I've been drinking coffee, and I'm trying intermittent fasting right now, so I kind of feel a little out of sorts. But I digress. Now, on to what I think a lot of guys are probably or possibly more curious about is what's going to happen if you miss a dose. And I can say from my experience, I can go a couple weeks at this point in, in my stability and how long I've been TRT without experiencing any side effects that I can really be aware of. I mean, perhaps something's happening on a physiological level, but I'm not experiencing any symptoms or side effects that have me concerned. Now, when you build up your testosterone, you get your steady state up, and when you stop, obviously, your steady state's going to slowly go down. But seeing as testosterone tends to be one of those things that works slow, I think the rebound effect for being off for me must be long, because week or two, it's no problem. So I don't worry about my vial running out a little bit at the end of a cycle of prescriptions. It's just not a big deal to me. It doesn't seem to be affecting my sleep. It doesn't affect my performance in the gym. It doesn't affect my energy levels. Now, do I want this sort of thing to happen? No, I think it's great to, to just be consistent with your protocol. Once a week is my protocol and it's been working wonderful for me, but I don't worry too much about it. And I wanted to say that just in case you guys were feeling worried if you're missing a dose, if you lose your prescription, and or you run into what I'm running into, which is the fact that sometimes based on the little bits you lose each time you inject or a faulty injection once in a while, or the little bit that's left over in the vial, just in case you're worried that you're not going to be able to make it a week or two. 
I don't, I don't go there. I, it's catastrophic thinking, and, and I'm in it for the long haul. I don't really go there. Is there anything else I wanted to say? I feel like there was. Oh, the other thing I will plainly mention is that when I do get this filled on the 16th, I definitely will not be doubling up on my dose or taking extra. I'll go right back to 120, and the reason I'm not gonna take more than 120 per week as prescribed for me is because I don't want my body converting extra into estrogen. I'd rather just rebuild up that little loss of steady state than worry about ma having a massive peak and then a potential valley. That's just the way my brain works. That's what I would do. I wouldn't feel any pressure to take a bunch extra because you're afraid you lost some. You're gonna be fine, I, I assure you without being able to assure you officially, because I'm not a doctor. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you found this video useful. It seemed like a good opportunity to talk about it, because like I said, I just this hasn't happened in a while, but it happened this time. I'll get this refilled on the 16th, and we will continue to move on and forward. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this has ever happened to you. Do you feel similar to me? Can you educate me on, on steady state and be missing doses? I've read stories about guys crashing when they're a week or two out from their most previous injection. I know the more frequent the better, but in my experience for me personally, it just hasn't been a big deal. If you have ideas for testosterone replacement therapy videos, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to take your feedback and try to make as many videos that you guys would actually want to see. And otherwise, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. And thank you to the people that are joining me on Patreon and, and helping to support me in that way. All of you are amazing. I sincerely appreciate you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.